Hey guys, it's Barb, and this is my April Art Snacks unboxing and review. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to see more of these videos, and let's check this one out. I have to say I've been pretty excited to get these in the mail every month, so let's dive right into this box and see what we got. I'm going to start with our first item in the box here, which is the bonus item this month. And it's a Canson watercolor paper. Just going to set that aside. Our next item here, this is the menu card for this month for April. Details all of the items on the inside and a little bit about them. The next item is a Daler Rowney acrylic ink. I love that it's in a plastic bag. I think this is a really great attention to detail thing that Art Snacks does. When it's shipping, if it were to break for some reason, this means it'll hopefully stay contained in that bag and not go all over your other items, which is a real bonus because if you've ever had that happen, it really sucks. Next, we have the green tissue. I'm just gonna lay it there for a sec. Our snack that came with this month's box. And of course, the Art Snack sticker, which always has a little bit of a different design on it. A little fun fact about this month's candy in the box is that in the USA they're called Smarties, but here in Canada we call them Rockets. I'm assuming it's because we already have a candy here called Smarties that's similar to M&M's, but that's probably a video for another time, so let's move on. Opening up the green tissue portion of the box, we have our items on the inside, and it looks like we have three this time. Our first item here is a Robert Simmons short handle acrylic paint brush in 3 8 It's an angle brush. The next item is a Karen Dosh Supercolor Aquarelle Pencil in Cobalt Blue. And finally, we have the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen that's a twin tip in black and gray. On the outside of this pen, virtually all of it is in Japanese, which is kind of cool and is fitting to my drawings I'm doing today. It definitely served as inspiration for my subject matter, and the colors I received definitely will complement that as well. So let's start by looking at the Canson Heritage watercolor paper. It's 300 GSM and 100% cotton, which makes it strong and absorbent. And I've done three drawings here that are inspired by traditional Japanese symbology. I'm going to start by using the Tombow brush pen. This pen is going to be great for this illustration because not only does it give me two different colors of ink, but it also is going to be waterproof when it's dry. That's going to be a really great asset when I go in with the red FW ink because I won't get any smearing or smudging if I go over top of the lines. I'm just going in and doing my line work on my Japanese crane. As you can see, the lines are going down quite smoothly, especially on this watercolor paper. It has a lot of texture on it, so it's really nice that I'm getting a really consistent flow and line. It's taking the ink quite well as well, and I'm not getting a lot of bleed where I'm making marks. So that's always a great plus because you know that where you're putting your lines down, they're going to stay there and they're not going to stray into other parts of the paper or not give you a crisp line if that's what you're looking for. I'm just going to jump ahead now to using the other side of the pen, which is the gray ink. And I'm going to use it to put in just some subtle shadowing in my crane. This is really nice if you want to take this pen as part of your sketching kit. Art Snacks does a really great job of providing items that have dual tips. The reason I like that so much is because if you're putting together a drawing kit to take with you somewhere, it means you have to take one item as opposed to two, and if you're already you know, short for space, then you're getting two in one essentially, which is really great. And um, it's just nice as an artist to, to have that dual functionality. And here's a look at all three illustrations that have been inked with the Tombow pen. Our next step will be applying the Daler Rowney FW Acrylic Artist Sink. And we'll be doing that with the Robert Simmons Short Handle Acrylic Paintbrush. 
I'm going to be showing you a few different applications of the ink and the brush in combination together. In this particular example, I'm using the ink at full saturation and I'm using the brush to just cut in a really clean and precise edge on my circle. As you can see, it comes in really nicely. Um, it's really great for precision. The combination of this brush and the paper and the ink together work really, really well. One of the features of the Robert Simmons brush is that it holds its shape even when saturated with color and I can say that in my tests with it here it's holding up quite well and is performing excellently. In my next illustration I'm using the ink in more of a watercolor style with a bit of a wash and I'm using the wetness in the paper to my advantage to sort of drop more saturated drops of color in and create a texture within the scales on my koi fish. And in the background on the red sun, I've done a little bit more of a gradation treatment to it. So you can see that the ink is quite versatile in terms of the types of effects that you can create with it. In my third illustration, I'm going to use the ink in more of a watercolor wash style. So you can see here I'm trying to achieve more of a pink tone. So this is a very, very watered down version of the ink. It's almost just water and barely any of the ink. And it's really nice because I can create these flat colors um, in certain tones, which is nice, and then continue to layer over top of that if I want to. to create some shadows and just give the overall area a little bit more depth. On the last part of this illustration, I'm going to use a dry brush technique to add in some textural effects on the red sun behind the snake. I'm using a mostly dry brush and dragging it lightly over top of the paper to create the texture effect. It's giving me a variation in lines and also light to darks, which is coming out quite nicely. Taking some time to experiment with your brush and the type of medium and the paper you're using really goes to show you the type of things that you can create. Especially in this case, you can see that we have three very different applications of the same medium. And here's a look at all three illustrations using various saturations of the ink and brush techniques. The final item I'm going to be using is the Caran d'Ache Supercolor Aquarelle Pencil. If you haven't used a water soluble colored pencil before, they're a really great addition to any illustrator's toolbox. They perform very similarly to traditional watercolor and there's a variety of effects you can create with them. On this illustration, I'm gonna go in with the dry pencil in the areas that I want more saturated blue and then go over top with a wet paintbrush to pull out the color and create lighter hues of blue in the areas where I want it lighter in the areas where I have more layers of dry pencil, it's going to remain a lot more saturated, which will give me a nice gradation effect. On my final illustration, I'm using more layers of the colored pencil so that I get a more saturated blue when I apply the water to it. Because the area is so saturated with color, it'll allow me to drag some of the excess color onto the white areas of the snake and create a lighter blue tone. Overall, I have to say everything in this box performed really well. The quality was excellent and there was a lot of versatility in terms of the type of effects and techniques I could use with every item. 
My absolute favorite item in this box was the Tombow brush pen, but certainly the rest of the products were amazing as well. The FW ink was great. Um, there was a lot of different things you could create with it, which was really nice. And here's a final look at all three illustrations. If you'd like to know more about Art Snacks, you can find them at artsnacks.co or here on YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.